In this lesson, students will be able to multiply with 6 as a factor using the distributive property. Previously, students have multiplied larger factors by separating the model into smaller sections and applying the distributive property. Today, we will be expanding that knowledge. Let's begin by using a property they are already familiar with, the distributive property. What if I had 6 times 4? How would I solve that? We have already learned to break the model apart into smaller pieces. However, when I multiply by 6, I am going to strategically separate the 6 into 5 plus 1 because most students know their 5s and then add one more set to find the 6s. So as I rewrite my equation, I've separated the 6 into 1 plus 5 and I'm still multiplying by 4. Then using the distributive property, I multiply the 1 by the 4 then remember to add, and then I'm going to multiply the 5 times the 4. Remember order of operations, which comes first, multiplication or addition? Remembering that we are finding the area, that will help me remember that I multiply first. 1 times 4 is 4, 5 times 4 is 20, and then I add those two products together to equal 24. Let's try one more problem with that strategy. Let's look at 6 times 7. First, let's draw the model of 6 times 7, which is 6 rows with 7 in each row. Since 6 is a factor, I'm going to separate the 6 into 1 and 5, because 1 plus 5 is still 6. Now let's write our equation. 6 times 7, and then I break the 6 into 1 plus 5, which is still 6, and I'm still going to multiply the 7. Then the distributive property reminds me that I need to multiply both of those numbers by 7. So first I'm going to multiply the 1 by 7, then I'm going to remember to add the next part where I multiply 5 by 7. Now I need to think about order of operations, which comes first, multiplication or addition. Remembering that we are finding the area, that helps me remember that I need to multiply first. So 1 times 7 is 7, 5 times 7 is 35, and then I add those two products together for a total of 42. Once again, this helps to make the connection that multiplying by 6 is the same as multiplying by 5 and just adding one more set. Our goal was to be able to multiply with 6 as a factor. We did this by simply multiplying the other factor by 5 and then adding one more set.